Hello, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to the Kia Hyundai channel. My name is Gabby. And I'm Charlotte. And this is our screen. So that means we're talking about a car that is not here, but this one's Woo! extra exciting because what is it, Charlotte? It is the 2023 EV6 GT. The GT Woo! GT, not the GT line, the GT. We haven't seen this before. We've got the official information. We've got pricing. We've got specs. Let's talk about it. Yep. We just got this today and we're telling you guys today. So you can see right here, October 26, 2022. That is right now. That is today. <laughs> so you can see we have the GT performance trim added. Everything new is going to be highlighted in green. We are going to include this um, sheet in a kind of a picture format so you guys can see it better so you're not squinting to take a look at our screen here. Um, let's get into it, though. We also have pricing. That's another big thing. Um, these pages over here just go over some of the basic features that are in the vehicle, including the vehicle to load, the range, highway drive assist, all that good stuff. We're going to focus solely on the GT today. So I want to show you guys this. This is our new GT design. Ooh. So you can see we got different wheels. These are 21 inch alloys exclusive to the GT trim. So similar to the GT line package two, it had different wheels differentiating it from the uh, other trim levels. Same goes with the GT. And if I take a look over here, you can see our styling differences. So you have a different front bumper, different wheel or alloy wheel and caliper. You get these lime green or bright yellow it's going to be hard to tell these photos look green but in person who knows at this point um, your different wheels different side lines um, and a different rear bumper it also looks like our um, reverse light is a different shape as well too so on the gt line trim levels you kind of had these ice cube looking lights like five little cubes now it looks like we have five little lines or is that six it's hard to tell i think it's five <laughs> now we'll head on down and Charlotte, let's talk about the seats. So this is going to be a true GT experience. So you have lovely bolstered seats that you're actually getting. Now, with that being said, is they are going to be manual. They're not going to be powered. And we're also lo losing uh, memory seats and your ventilated seats when you go up from this vehicle opposed for the GT line. But look at the interior. It looks like we have some really cool green detailing and green piping. So mm -hmm. I think that'll look great once the vehicle arrives. I'm curious as to if there will be different options or anything like that. Probably not, but definitely going with the, definitely including those GT exterior elements and bringing them inside too. I also read that the seats have suede inserts in them as well too. So similar Keep to what we place. saw in the GT too. Now that we got those differences out of the way, we're gonna go into the GT trim level and see what we're adding on. Um, immediately we know our horsepower and torque is gonna be majorly different. In true GT form, we have 575 horse or 576 horsepower with 545 pound feet of torque. This thing is a power horse. Um, larger front and rear brakes, which is much needed with all that extra power. You need extra stopping abilities. Then we also have a zero to 100 speed of 3.55 seconds. Awesome. And a top speed of 260 kilometers per hour. That is very fast. <laughs> we'll have to put that to the test. We'll have to put that to the test. <laughs> um, not on roads, of course, <laughs> for legal reasons. <laughs> Next up for exterior, we have the GT exterior elements, which we showed you just before, mm -hmm. and our 21 inch beautiful GT alloy wheels, which I'll get a closer look up after. Comfort, what do we got, Charlotte? So for comfort features, um, I already kind of talked a little bit about the GT interior design elements, like, you know, the bolstered seats, we're seeing that. Um, kind of fluorescent green piping. So that's, of course, going to be included. Um, sport bucket seats, we know about that. First row manual seats, which I've already mentioned too. Uh, and GT dedicated drive modes and active sound designs. So it'll be interesting to see something different than what we have in the GT Pack 2 because there are a couple different options for your drive modes. So I'm curious to see how they're going to change it up, but we haven't gotten too much information regarding that specifically yet. And then a big, big question. What is the price? Ooh, so the price is $74,495. Canadian. Canadian, and that's the MSRP. So based off of that, do we know if it's gonna qualify for the federal rebate? No. Do I think it's gonna qualify for the federal rebate? No. <laughs> so that is definitely a little bit of a downside, but of course that hasn't been confirmed yet because this information just came out today. Yes. When it comes to the way this is gonna go about for ordering, we're not exactly sure yet. So if you have seen our Nero ordering video or even our EV6 ordering info um, when the EV6 was first released, we don't know if it's gonna follow that format again. However, if it does, we would love if you guys do decide to choose our dealership for your 
selected dealership. As long as you're in Ontario, we can help you out. Um, and we're also happy to say our dealer doesn't charge over MSRP. So we're not going to add on any accessories or packages that you don't want or need. All right, so now that I'm done that little ad, I also want to point out that Charlotte has had to step out. She does have a full-time job here at the dealership other than doing videos. And she had, does have a customer that she needs to meet. So now I'll show you guys the beautiful 21-inch alloy wheels. So these are GT exclusive. They're not available on the GT line or the regular all-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive models. As you can see, lots of sharp design contrasts. So very similar to the GT line pack too, but a little bit more edgy, I would say. Um, I also wanted to show you guys the color choices. So previously for the GT line packages, we were limited to a few more or a few color choices. Um, it's still the same now. Now you can only get the steel matte gray on, oops, there we go. You can only get the steel matte gray on the GT. So no more GT line steel matte grays and the paint charge is now $3,000. So something to consider. Um, it's also worth mentioning that matte does have a bit extra care. Um, we have done a video on how to take care of your matte paint as well, too, if that's something, something you're interested in. So we got Snow White Pearl, Aurora Black Pearl, Steel Gray Matte, Runway Red, and Yacht Blue. I got to say, all these colors look phenomenal on this vehicle. So whatever you choose, you know it's going to look good. And now let's get into another hot topic. We do have our range here now. So got our horsepower torque there again. GT is rated at 332 kilometers of all electric range. So that's a little bit less than our rear wheel drive standard range. Um, what that will actually come to in real life, I don't know. Typically our cars are rated at whatever it may be. Um, but with real world use and depending on how you drive, if it's constantly in sport mode, you're not gonna see your best range. Um, but if you're driving it more eco-friendly, a little bit more efficiently, then you'll see a higher number for sure. And then, of course, temperature. So we got that out there. That's about it for our uh, EV6 GT video. We are waiting for some more information. Of course, we're waiting to see this vehicle just like you guys. Once we do get one, I'm sure we'll probably try our best to keep one on our lot for test drives or just to show. So stay tuned for more info. Hopefully not too far away we'll actually have one to review and show you guys so you can see it in person full walk around tech review everything and a test drive video thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time